I'm going to introduce you to a recent paper that um, proposes a new solution for 3D point cloud registration using maximum clicks. Uh, so 3D registration with maximal clicks, or I will call it for short MAC, uh, it solves the task of aligning two point clouds by uh, estimating six degree of freedom post transformation. Uh, and there are lots of methods for solving this problem. And most of them rely on a correspondency set especially if we are talking about uh, dense point clouds. So uh, the quality of the set of, um, I'm sorry, uh, one, one minute. Excuse me for that, my dog was too noisy. <laughs> okay, um, let's continue. Three, two, one. Uh, so yeah, I, I told you there are lots of methods for solving this problem, and most of them rely on this uh, correspondency set. Uh, so the quality of the set is um, important, uh, but in practice, uh, correspondences may have lots of outliers, <clears throat> which uh, worsen their results or even make them unpredictable. There are two main um, approaches in this field, and you probably know um, well the limitations of both. So I will not repeat them. Um, yeah, so why does this solution stand out from the rest? Firstly, MAG generates a high accuracy hypothesis, even with uh, really heavy outliers. And it also um, doesn't require any training data and still achieves better performance than uh, DL solutions. So uh, this method is um, a pure geometry. And in addition, MAC can be served as a drop-on module in uh, DL frameworks in order to uh, boost their performance. Um, I will start with, with some general overview, and then we can go into details on some specific parts. So we have two point clouds here, and a subset of point pairs, which uh, construct this uh, initial correspondency set. And we don't really uh, care how the correspondency set was obtained. Um, and then using this data, the task is to find the, the rigid transform. And technically, this method is uh, pretty simple. Firstly, um, they take a, a correspondency set and construct a, a graph where um, nodes uh, nodes uh, <laughs> uh, a correspondency pair and edges linked to um, geometrically compatible nodes. Then they select a set of maximal clicks and uh, the term click in the graph theory uh, means a subset of nodes where all nodes are pairwise connected. Um, then each maximal click represents a hypothesis uh, of, the, of the correspondency set which is used for solving rotation and translation. And uh, at the end, the hypothesis with uh, the best performance is chosen um, as a solution. Um, graph construction. It is probably the most crucial part. Uh, graph is constructed in two order manner. Uh, the first order graph is um, constructed based on the uh, rigid distance between uh, a correspondency pair. So this formula um, is a sense of this geometrical compatibility. 
Then they wrap it into a score between the correspondency, uh, based on which uh, and uh, based on the on the this score threshold, uh, we define whether uh, nodes have an edge between each other or not. Uh, this is how it looks like. And uh, then comes the second order graph, which evolves from the first one. It simply uh, takes the, the first order graph weight matrix and applies some linear transformation to it. And the idea behind the second order graph uh, is to build a um, sparser graph with a higher degree of compatibility. Uh, when the graph is constructed, it's time to uh, find these maximal clicks. So they simply used um, a modified Braun Kerbosch algorithm for a very uh, efficient search of maximal clicks. But it usually ends with uh, thousands of examples. That's uh, still a lot for us because every click, each click is a, is a hypothesis which we have to check in further. Uh, therefore, the, the authors introduced a non-guided click selection method um, to reduce this, the number of clicks. And um, this method, it lies in uh, calculating a weight for each click uh, as a sum of edges weights, and then filtering clicks with uh, repeated nodes, retaining only the one with the, with the greatest weight for the node. And um, it uh, um, guarantees that the number of maximal clicks will not exceed the number of nodes in the graph, but it still may be uh, a large number, especially if we have lots of correspondences. So um, th therefore they apply another techniques for, uh, further filtering the maximal clicks, uh, but I will not go into details there because they are like pretty simple. And um, at the end, each click from the <clears throat> set we collected represents a hypothesis, as I said. And a single hypothesis is actually a, a set of correspondency pairs that are used for solving the, this transformation. And um, they apply classical SVD decomposition uh, to a correspondency set um, of this hypothesis in order to find the rotation and translation. And the only remaining task is to choose the most optimal hypothesis. And that is done by uh, searching a maximum of this objective function. Uh, its sense lies in um, estimating a performance of a rigid transformation by calculating some metrics and then combining e them into this single score. So the hypothesis with uh, the best score is taken to perform the 3D registration. And that is all about this method. Uh, let's now consider some um, quantitative characteristics of the proposed solution. So they took uh, four data sets containing both indoor and outdoor scenes. Uh, they generated a correspondency set for these data sets using um, various descriptors. Uh, for example, here we consider the U3M dataset. Um, it was um, mainly compared uh, with um, some geometrical methods, uh, most of which are on SAC based. And uh, on this plot, you see that despite uh, a RMSE threshold, MAC keeps the tendency of weighing the uh, outperformer. Uh, for the three D mesh data sets, we consider both uh, traditional and uh, DL methods, 
And again, among all methods for both data sets, MAC takes uh, the first uh, the first place regarding of uh, which descriptor is is what was actually used. And furthermore, uh, MAC is still better than DL methods without any training. That's that's good. And the last table demonstrates how um, MAC can boost um, existing DL solutions, achieving uh, superior SOTA results. And the last one is the Kitty datasets with, um, with outdoor scenes. Uh, we see that recall is the best again, but we also may see a bit worse rotation and translation errors. And um, it may be explained with the fact that um, outdoor point clouds are significantly sparser. On the other hand, I would like to know that combining these results with uh, those made for indoor scenes, we may conclude in a good uh, generalization abilities for both indoor and outdoor scenes of this solution. And um, implementation and usage details. Um, I guess it's always worth to mention how uh, to mention how useful the solution may be, because you know we often hear about some uh, nice solutions which may even have um, state of the art results, but we can't use them on practice due to uh, the limitations. Uh, for example, need of the some nice GPU with large RAM or uh, training data for some specific task or simply a time performance. And uh, Mac is not the case uh, at all. They made a C++ implementation which relies on PCL and iGraph uh, libraries and it is implemented on the CPU only. Uh, they even provided a simple demo in Python, by, but I don't consider it because it's not a, a, a Python wrapper to a C++ code. Um, and according to this um, time measurements, Mark can complete 3D registration in only tens of milliseconds for less than um, thousands of correspondences. And even with 2,500 correspondences, it takes less than a half of a second. However, uh, the more correspondences you have, uh, the more time you wait. And for 5K correspondences, we already have three seconds. Uh, but on the other hand, Mac is not sensitive to the um, cardinality of the input correspondences. Um, such that with sparser input, you still may have uh, an outstanding performance. So you don't really need to put so much correspondences. Um, and so finally conclusions, I will uh, tell some conclusions really briefly. So it is a pure geometry, no DL uh, method and um, it works with correspondences and it is very resistant to heavy outliers. It achieves state-of-the-art results for all tested data sets, including both uh, indoor, outdoor scenes, and even scenes with uh, low uh, ratio overlap. And it also fast enough and um, may be used with DL solutions just boosting their performance. So that's it. Thank you for your attention.